Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fifth grade concept of adding and subtracting positive rational numbers. This is standard 5.3K in the great state of Texas and we are using item number three, the redesign practice online star test. If we haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have a few houses here. We've got Dinah's house. It's six and 85 hundredths or 6.85 kilometers away from Carl's house. And then Sanjay's house is closer to Carl's house than Dinah's house is. So it looks like we have a little bit of a comparison. A lot of houses. Let's get our graph draw feature here and let's expand it out. There we go. Increase our transparency so we can see what's going on. And so I'm going to use kind of a connect line here just to draw a straight line. And we know where at least two of the houses are. And so let me just draw those for you real quick. So we've got um, a house right here. Okay, so this is Dinah's house. And then I've got Carl's house. And we know that these two, if we put them on a straight line, six and 85 hundredths. All right, so I'm just going to write that up here. Six and 85 hundredths kilometers away from each other. Now, here's the interesting part. And let me switch to a different color here. We've got Sanjay's house. We don't know whether it's on this straight line. So Sanjay's house could kind of be here. Uh, or it could not even necessarily be in a row. It could kind of just be down here. Uh, so I'm just going to draw like a little house, and it can either be uh, on this straight line between them, or it can kind of be off a little bit. It really doesn't matter, because what we know is that it is two and three-tenths closer. All right, so whether it's down here, or whether it's uh, on that straight line. We're going to kind of do this. We're going to say two and three tenths closer. So all we're doing here is we're really just comparing Sanjay's house is closer to Carl's house than Dinah's house is. How much closer? Two and three tenths closer. So we need to compare this six and eighty-five hundredths with this two and three tenths. So Really, if we want to just make it into like a strip diagram, right? We're just comparing our 6 and 85 hundredths. And we're comparing our 2 and 3 tenths. Let's just kind of make it like this, 2 and 3 tenths. And then here's my question, right? Like what's, what's the difference right there between these two? That's what I'm looking for. One's a decimal, one's a fraction. So I'm going to suggest turning these both into a uh, decimal, seeing, seeming as how our answers are all in decimals. You can actually do it both ways. So 6.85 is already decimal. So we can just kind of line it up like this. I've got my 2 and 3 tenths. So I need to turn that into a uh, decimal. Thankfully, it already has a tenths as my denominator, right? Because if we're looking at place value, then we realize that that is our ones place up here. And then right here where this eight is, that's my tenths place. So I already have a tenths going. So I can just put my two and three tenths. If my denominator wasn't already in the tenths, then it would be a little bit more difficult. Tenths or hundreds are the easiest. So we can subtract these two. That 5 is just kind of hanging out in outer space. That's fine. We could put a 0 there if we really want to. 30 hundredths is the same as 3 tenths. So that's going to be a 5. That's going to be a 5. And that's going to be, excuse me, a 4, not a 3. So 4 and 55 hundredths. Uh, if we wanted to, we w could change our 6 and 85 hundredths into that. Uh, but then we'd have to change our 2 and 3 tenths into 2 and 30 hundredths. Do all that work and you get 4 and 55 hundredths. We still have to turn that into a decimal. Either way, our answer here is going to be B.